thank the Maker you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Wait here, Cullen. I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. What? There's no time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment. We owe the court one more show, Your Grace. Inquisitor. You've been beaten. You'll never get near the Empress. Oh, Inquisitor, your jokes are so charming. It's no joke. Your plan to assassinate the Empress has failed. You said you needed to keep me out of the ballroom in order to strike. The Chalon family crest. It was your knife, not Gaspard's, used to murder the Council Emissary. You brought your brother, your cousin, and your most hated enemies together so you could wipe them all out. This is very entertaining, but you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. That will be a matter for a judge to decide, cousin. Gaspar, you cannot believe this. You know I would never... Gaspar? You lost this fight ages ago, Your Grace. You're just the last to find out. Your Imperial Majesty, I think we should speak in private, elsewhere. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing? Or that you're trying so hard to play innocent? And failing? Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Your captain tells me you spent all night sneaking mercenaries into the palace, Gaspard. You intended to attack. And where did your troops come from, Inquisitor? If sneaking men into the palace is damning, then we are both damned. I have the instructions you sent your general to sneak men into the palace in preparation for an attack. It was a defensive choice. I expected betrayal here, just... Not by my own sister. By all means, continue to protest your innocence, Gaspar. We find this performance endlessly fascinating. There were also the threats Gaspard made to the Council of Heralds to bully them into giving him the crown. <laughs> Gaspard is a bully. Is that the worst you can say of me? And his mercenary captain will be happy to tell you all their plans for the coup tonight. Thank you, Inquisitor. There can be no doubt of your treason, Gaspar. No, it seems there cannot. 
In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. You have enough proof to dissolve his support for the throne, Your Majesty. You don't need to take his life. As a favor to you, Inquisitor, I will let him live. Gaspar, you are hereby banished from the Empire on pain of death. Is that all? You're too kind, Céline. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life. And Orlé owes you its future. You have done a service for the Empire never to be forgotten, my friend. This piece is your doing. You truly are the instrument of Andraste. Orlé will never forget your part in this. Nor will I. Lords and ladies of the court, the civil war which has plagued us is at an end. The Orlesian Empire is whole again. Those who drove us into war for selfish gain have been dealt with as traitors. Gaspard de Chalon is guilty of treason. He is no longer our cousin and shall never again hold title or land in Orlé. We have lost enough. No more! Now, we can move forward to healing and restoration. In our hour of need, the Inquisition has faced these dangers beside us. It is the honor of Orlé to stand with Andraste's herald to end this crisis. And in ages to come, our children and grandchildren can say that we left them a brighter world. Will you address the court, my friend? The civil war may have ended, but the fighting has just begun. The battle is far from over. We of the court must use our resources. Not every battle is won on the field. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, feast, my friends. Enjoy our victory. There will be many more to come. The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. Everyone suddenly wants to talk to me. You, at least, I'm glad to see. <laughs> then I have happy news as you shall be seeing a great deal more of me. By Imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Celine wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Selene knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power, which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, thus it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic. Yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response.
I shall meet you at Skyhold. Is everything all right? You look troubled. Things went according to plan for once. I couldn't be happier. Tonight was a triumph. You should be proud. Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? Would you care to dance with me, Lady Josephine? I would love to, my lady. <laughs> 